So I'm a big fan of FCF. It is integrated into my Vim setup. It is a part of a few commands that I use in the terminal throughout the day. Uh, but sometimes I forget just like how versatile it is and how it, uh, how scriptable it can be in terms of just like pulling it in uh, on the fly when you're doing a one-off command or writing a script. And so I want to take a look at a quick thing that I thought of using uh, FCF for. Uh, just as a reminder, FCF is a command line fuzzy finder. So with FCF, I can take some output and pipe it to FCF and I'll get sort of an interface where I can fuzzy find on the results line by line of the like output that's being fed into FCF and then do something with it. So I've got some untracked files here and I actually want to go through and delete some of them and my first thought was well I guess I'll type out rm and then like you know copy and paste each of these and like paste them here um, and probably that is what I just should do it's only two files that I want to get rid of but um, I thought maybe I can use fcf for this and I think at the very least it's a good example of what fcf can do so I found a little git plumbing command that will list out the untracked files. So you can see if I run that, that's the same result that we get here, although in a different order. And then let's see, I can now take this and pipe it to FCF. And those results get loaded in here. So I can say spec or I can say DB or whatever. So that's nice. Um, let me exit out of there. So now I can pipe this even further. And so I can say for each result that comes out. Um, we'll do xargs to say like take each result and like do the command following xargs with each of those results. So I'll just uh, echo it I guess. So let's do that and now I filter it down to db and I hit tab. Well tab's not working but I can do one of these at least and we'll see it takes a result, pipes it to echo and echoes it out. So why wasn't able to hit tab to multi-select? Well, let's see, main FCF, multi, there we go. Okay, so I need the dash M flag if I want to enable multi-select. So I'm going to add dash M there. Let's see, filter down to DB, tab, tab. Now I've selected both of them. Cool, and it echoes both of them out. So instead of echo, I want to do RM so that I can remove these files. So let's try that. Filter down to db, tab, tab. Or I cannot have db, I can still see those ones. I could add that or I go back and remove it. I've got the ones that I want selected, so I hit enter. And if I do a git status now, we'll see that those two files have been deleted. So that's a really quick uh, and kind of fancy way to use FCF to quickly remove a couple files from your untracked files. Again, this is probably a bit overkill. If you just are deleting a couple files, then doing RM and copying and pasting those values is probably sufficient, but I could wrap this up into a function that I put in my like ZSharC, ZSharC file, and then that's something I can just use every day at the, you know, just by reaching for a single command. So maybe in the end it is sort of worthwhile to have figured that out. Uh, sort of fits in with my philosophy of taking the time to write 10 minute scripts. You know, something that just takes 10 minutes or less to write is then something that you can uh, use every day going forward to sort of streamline your workflow. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to think about all the ways you can use FCF throughout your day today.